Delegates, chaperones, colleagues, um, I'd like to welcome you all to the JCC Model United Nations Conference. Uh, once again, hosted by Joseph Chamberlain Sixth Form College. It doesn't feel like it, but this is actually our, our seventh year hosting the event. Beginning as the country's first Sixth Form College Model United Nations, still the largest, and now incredibly in its seventh year. So, whatever your focus is this weekend, I hope that you all have a fantastic time. You will develop some crucial skills, debate issues central to so many people around the world, and you'll also meet new people, developing friendships that, as have happened over the six years, last much longer than just this weekend. Delegates, please welcome Gisela Stewart, MP. Whilst I've been a politician for almost 20 years, I want to hand over that torch to you, the next generation. Because I have addressed the United Nations Assembly when I was a minister and we had some health initiatives. And it's not any different from what you're doing here. It's a group of people coming together trying to negotiate an outcome, which is always going to be hard. So I wish you well. I hope you don't make the mistakes we have made. I have no doubt that, that you will come up with mistakes entirely of your own making. Never lose goodwill and good faith. Establish trust. And with that, you've got a good chance of making the world a better place. So it is this moment that I would like to officially declare open the 2016 Model United Nations. Too long, America has had undue influence on the United Nations, culminating in sanctions, embargoes, and blockades against various nations. We're in the question of preventing terrorist organizations from acquiring weapons of mass destruction. It is clear that the sex workers are held as virtual prisoners. Secondly, prostitution in inevitably involves the immor immoral treatment of others and the decriminalization. intervening in the fight against illegal forces of DS which continue to be dealt with the must don'ts case. Can you hear me, Chairman? Yeah. 
given an hour and a half now to go into an unmoderated caucus, um, after which point China can deliver a statement in response to it. The conference was recommended by some of my colleagues at uh, uh, Franklin College where I work um, and it seems to have developed a, a real good uh, reputation over the last few years and we're always looking for additional opportunities to uh, offer to the students to enrich their experience beyond just the classroom and I think um, it definitely does that and I think it's uh, it's good in terms of developing connections both with other students and um, connections with universities and things like that as well um, and I think it, it's it just it makes them a bit more well-rounded I think in terms of um, it in increases their interpersonal skills and so uh, I think it's um, comprehensively I think it's a really good opportunity for them. It's the seventh time that my college have been to the MUN and my fifth time uh, here as a chaperone. It is the highlight of my year and the students tell me it's one of the best things they do in their entire two years at Sixth Form College. Um, when the students come they are, no matter how experienced they are in public speaking, they are nervous, they don't know what to expect. Um, and the first day is they, they clutch their resolutions and walk into the, um, into the main hall. Uh, they really, it's quite a challenge for them. By today, by the third, final day, they are completely changed. They are full of enthusiasm, they're extremely invested in the work they've done. They're extremely annoyed when their resolutions are defeated um, and they form great new friendships and allegiances and it's, it's just to sit and watch students who've never met each other before sitting and discussing really quite high level issues of international policy and negotiating out a, a, um, an agreement that they can all sign is really special it's a it's a fantastic opportunity and no matter whether you've got a student who's 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 very unsure not a high flyer or a student who's really got their eye on a, a maybe a career in international relations it's it, it fits them all, they'll all get something out of it. It's a, it's a terrific weekend. So I'm in charge of the uh, MUN Insider, a group of AS, A2, GCSE students. Uh, we did a pre-launch edition which covered things such as human rights, legalisation, as well as a quiz for, for students to complete on the day. The second edition, which is being done at the moment, uh, we're going to cover the emergency scenario which has happened in the boardroom. We're also going to look at opinion pieces as well to put into the MUN Insider. Uh, some more quizzes, just some more interactive elements as well. I think it's been well received by students. I think people are reading it, they're, they're debating the issues, they're looking at other delegates to see have they said something to the media and it's, it's causing a few disputes uh, which is always good in a media environment but the main thing it's causing debate, it's causing critical thinking. Um, it's also giving our students some really good life skills, some work skills, communication, teamwork, personal responsibility and actually working in a, a, a real-time media environment when they go out for a job, they've got it on their CV, they've got a, a certificate of, of, of recommendation, they can go out there with these skills into the world, world of work, apprenticeship, university, and I think it's a really good opportunity for our students. Well, this is my first time doing MUN and I think it's been a really great experience to sort of up your game when it comes to debating because I played Russia, which was, which was very challenging because USA wanted to fight me on everything, but it was actually a really good opportunity to improve my confidence and get better at debating. Incredibly enjoyable. Um, I loved the whole debating aspect and I love how it kind of relates to the real world as well. It's like really topical issues and it was great fun. Um, I thought it was actually a really good experience and I've learned many valuable skills such as debating and uh, gaining much more confidence in speaking in front of a large crowd. For me as an exchange student it's great to um, have like the opportunities to, to speak proper and high um, English, to learn more English skills and also to work in a team with other people I never met before. Hello and welcome to Model United Nations. This is a weekend full of hot debate on a whole host of international relations topics. We've got the Human Rights Committee, the Political Committee, Disarmament, Economic and Social, Environment and Ecology and even the Security Council. Over the last three days, students have been working on lobbying for support for their resolutions and all day yesterday we're working in committees trying to get the crucial vote they all need. And today, finally, students are working in our General Assembly over there, trying to get their final approval for resolutions. So, let's see how they're doing. 
reiterating the uh, points might be made by the delegates of uh, Cuba and Iran, would the delegate of Ukraine not agree that instead of focusing uh, attentions on the delegation of Iran, which I'm sure they would agree are not in any way creating nuclear warheads and instead using their nuclear material for more uh, energy means, should we not, uh, as the Assembly, be focusing more of our attention on the delegation of Israel, which currently has such a state of nuclear ambiguity, and would the Assembly not find it rather ironic that they are imposing such nuclear limitations given the current nuclear ambiguity of the state? Um, no, because they're cooperating with this resolution, which means that anything you've just stated, doesn't, is, it doesn't matter because they're cooperating in order to limit the amount of nuclear warheads. This one, we will now end the resolution by now, by voting. Thank you. For all those in favor for the res resolution, please raise your placards. A. B. C. D. Six. And for all those against the resolution, please raise your placards. A, B, C, D. Four. Okay. With 22 votes for and 10 against, this resolution has been approved. You may now applaud. I think it's been a really um, interesting and educational experience where we've um, learnt different debating and speech, speech skills throughout the committee debate level? Probably the first day it was a lot of adjusting and kind of getting into um, really beginning to feel the um, model UN, the UN. And then by the second day in the committees they've, they've relished it. Um, and then it all begins to make sense, so the policy statements and the, the resolutions. By now, the, the language and the, their understanding of the terminology is, is, is greatly improved. So I think we've all had a, um, a better understanding of the UN and how it operates and the Security Council. In that alone, that's, that's a great lesson that they've learnt from the weekend. The Committee for Ecology and the Environment of, uh, you know, from Iraq uh, will be addressing the question of the preservation of cultural heritage in the Middle East. Defining cultural heritage as the legacy of physical artefacts and intangible attributes of a group or society that are inherited from past generations, maintained in the present and bestowed for the benefit of future generations. The Syrian delegation calls that all responsible parties will be tried and punished for war crimes involving the destruction of cultural heritage. In the resolution when it says to consider the cultural heritage of the regions, that means to actively avoid those regions or just pay the utmost respect to them? Obviously the avoidance of Daesh in cultural heritage sites entirely is not possible. So the conflict must be resolved in some respect. Uh, but we ask any nation that intervenes in any way to please consider the cultural heritage uh, site and its value to the world. The Venezuelan delegate would like to point out that the Saudi Arabia delegate is trying to derail the debate over this resolution and if it would like its continued support from Venezuela, it would drop the issue immediately. Pakistan would like to question why would the UN fund such a project when members and people in the, the delegate's countries are starving? Why would we focus on animals before our own people? Well, the reason I actually looked into this research is because we have a decline in our animals on this planet. We have a decline in ecosystems. And because of this disruption of the ecosystems, we are losing so much. Our planet is going to decline as, as quickly as we can actually think about it. And we are having more and more problems. Um, the delegation of India would like New Zealand to clarify their assertion that the number of animals are going down when sheep still outnumber people in their state. If you're worried about this research being unethical, there are several ways to work around the research of genetics and making it more ethical. If you're thinking of Dolly the sheep, yes, that's animal cloning. I am against animal cloning. This is nothing to do with animal cloning, if that's what your problem is. Alarmed that as recently as 2012, Saudi Arabia has executed civilians on the grounds of committing witchcraft and sorcery. 
deeply appalled by the extensive list of procedural and professional errors commonplace within Saudi Arabia's legal system, including, but not limited to, the absence of lawyers during interrogations and trial sessions, and the absence of testimonies of the eyewitnesses required for conviction in a defendant's court session. Uh, the uh, delegation from, the, uh, from Saudi Arabia would like to condemn this type of Iranian scaremongering against our nation. And we call upon our allies in this world and in the UN General Delegates Assembly. Delegates are reminded to speak in third person. Okay. Um, the delegation calls upon its allies, uh, the UK and the USA, to condemn this resolution. The United Kingdom would like to uh, condemn this resolution and would like to point out the uh, human rights record of Iran. Uh, and the continued oppression of opposition in Iran as well. And we'd also question the democratic process that takes place in Iran and we would like to affirm our support for our allies in Saudi Arabia. Uh, the Cuban delegation is slightly confused as to why this resolution is so opposed to executions when according to Amnesty International, in 2011 there were 360 executions in Iran. In 2014 there were 734. And in the first half of 2050 learn there were 694 executions. Um, can the delegate please explain this? Absolutely. Um, the reason why Iran is listed as having the most executions is because Iran's policy is to be open and transparent about its executions. Therefore, the information given to Amnesty International is freely available. With 10 votes for the resolution and 21 votes against, this resolution does not pass. You may not applaud. Which delegation was that? Saudi Arabia, you've been given a warning. Any, f any, any further outbursts and you may be removed from the General Assembly. It is a valuable um, experience, not only for the students, but it puts Joseph Chamberlain on the map. We're very, very proud of Joseph Chamberlain Sixth Form College. Uh, we're proud of what it does for the students and we're proud of the advantages and the quality of education uh, that the students achieve when they leave Joseph Chamberlain. Um, but MUN is a particularly significant event uh, for the students here. It's also a, a very good event for Birmingham and uh, for promoting Joseph Chamberlain College, but promoting the city of Birmingham and how proud of its educational opportunities that are present within the city, from colleges, from universities, and from schools, of course. Okay, delegates, um, it's been an honour um, looking after you this weekend. I'm now going to uh, pass over to uh, RT to close our conference. Thank you, General Assembly. I'm looking at the future. I'm looking at you, and it's looking good.